Okay, so we got the motor here. You can see the rotor. And if you look back here, you can see the stator, stator with the coils. And I've got it connected up to a um, sensorless control unit, electronic control system. Um, it's good, everything's upside down. Little Hobby King device. I've got um, eight nickel metal hydride batteries here connected in series. Gives me about 10 volts. And I'm going to plug it in. You probably couldn't hear it, but it plays a tone. Um, it actually uses the um, coils <laughs> to play a tone. So, and I'll turn it up, but what's going to happen, you can see it trying, but it won't start on its own. Now, the problem I have, actually, I'm going to start it over again. The problem I have is that it sucks, the coils suck the, uh, did I say it sucks? It sucks the magnets into the, uh, stator. It's, it sucks the rotor into the stator, especially at higher speeds. So I need to put some uh, spacers in there. We're going to go for lift off here. Oh, my batteries must be dead. Yeah, I have to charge up my batteries. As I tell you yesterday, oh, there it goes. It still sucked it in anyway. But yesterday it was really launching. I'm going to recharge my batteries and uh, look to put a spacer in between the uh, between the rotor and the um, well it'll it'll be between the bearing to hold the um, that holds the shaft up because the stator stator it doesn't have any oops I need to try to keep these connected so I don't forget which way they're running. Have to remember next time to label them before I put everything together. I had Fitch yesterday trying to figure out which one was uh, which direction the wires needed to run for them all being because they all should face the same direction if that makes any sense the coils. So I'm going to pull this out and put a little spacer in there and you can see my coils in there. They're not pretty, but they work and I'm getting better at my coil winding. You can see this one over here looks pretty nice. Uh, I think that's the last one I did, developed a technique for doing that. So, oh well, yeah, and you can see the well, I need to I need to file this down some. It still has a burr on it, so I can't pull it out. I need to pull it out that way because taking the rotor off and on will uh, loosen it up on that shaft, and I don't want to do that. So I got to take it out via the um, bearings. So that's all for now. It's pretty interesting, I think.